Hello everybody, this is Miss Hilt. Um, now that we are here in level 5, we'll be doing these videos once a week and you will have an assignment that is at the end of them. Um, for this week, we're going to be continuing talking about the principles of design. You're going to find this PowerPoint inside the Emphasis folder in Google Classroom if you want to follow along with it. Feel free, but it's also visible here in this PowerPoint. So, I wanted to show you a couple of examples of emphasis in interior spaces. So, in this interior space, the obvious emphasis point is this big sunken in couch. It's very much the focal point of the room. It's big, it's loud, it's the first thing that you see. And this next one, um, you can see that in this picture, it has a clock that's kind of a fun clock where it highlights up what the time is based on letters. And the emphasis here would then be the parts that are brighter versus the parts that are darker. Here we have another example of emphasis, which is this fun nest bed, which I think is really cute, especially with the oversized lamp that you see over here to the side and the oversized calendar. Then the emphasis of this space is this uh, staircase that has a built-in slide. Here we have an example of a fixture used as a piece of emphasis in a bathroom space. The sink is built to look kind of like a mug, and it is definitely the emphasis point in this interior space. Here, this is kind of a cute shelving unit. It's meant to look like Pac-Man, um, and the bright color helps create emphasis in the room. Everything else is very neutral, but the yellow definitely stands out. Here we have another example of emphasis where they've taken the telephone wires instead of just having them be boring telephone wires, they've created these art installations to hold up the wires across the, um, the river here. So it's much more interesting than just a normal telephone wire. Um, and it's meant to provide emphasis inside of the space versus it being something that's ugly in an eyesore. They've created these marionette figures that are an art installation. Um, here we have another fun bookcase. Um, instead of just having a normal boring, boring bookcase, they've made this read bookcase the emphasis point of the room. I think it's very well done and very clever. Um, here they have uh, taken something that's like a standard Thing that you would see in um, a room and they've created the point of emphasis is this uh, bar here for the salt and the pepper so that you can see how much your salt is charged or your pepper is charged so you can see emphasis there on a smaller scale and here we have a point of emphasis where obviously the emphasis is not the items in the room itself but the giant aquarium dome, this is actually in a uh, hotel that is inside of an aquarium. And then you get to see the aquarium the whole evening while you spend the night in the hotel room. So emphasis, basically the definition of it is that it is the primary focal point in the space. And it's the feature that commands attention or has the most visual in meaning or visual weight. We've talked about this term before. Visual weight's a weird term. It just means it has the most, um, uh, it, it draws your eye in the most. Um, we would say it's the heaviest object in the room. It's the thing that's the most interesting and it commands the most attention. Um, here we have a dining room with a uh, chandelier as the point of emphasis, and then everything that works out around it. We have an example of radial balance here where everything is centered around this center. Um, and then here we have an example of symmetrical balance where the point of emphasis is this fireplace and this mirror up here. And then here in this space, we have an example of um, symmetrical balance as well, where it's divided the room in half and the lamp and the lamp are the same. 
and the point of emphasis would definitely, I think, either be this like large statement, uh, coffee table and the sofa combined, or maybe just the outdoors would be an example of the emphasis point here in this space. I'd say this is a very well balanced space. It's almost kind of hard to pick the point of emphasis. Um, architectural features oftentimes will serve as emphasis in a space. Um, an example of that would be um, this fireplace here in the room and then everything around it has been worked to balance around that fireplace. We see an example of a symmetrical balance here um, where you have a sofa and a sofa, but then we have a chair to the side and then we have the saddle that takes the place of this chair to create pieces of emphasis. Works of art and decorative accessories can be used as an emphasis and a piece of design and also color as well. Um, the point of emphasis should command attention but not dominate the overall design of the space. It should look like it goes into the location and not just be like, bam, this is the only thing that you can see in the room. Um, so, for example, in this space, I would say that this beautiful grandfather clock here would be the point of emphasis in the space. Other features inside the room should complete, shouldn't compete, and they should complete the point of emphasis. It was, it was just this beautiful grandfather clock without the rest of the decorating in the room. It would look very stark, but here it looks very rich because we have these grand draperies, we have these um, chairs that very much mimic the wood of the grandfather clock, including the scroll work here in the chairs is mimicked in the grandfather clock over here as well. And it all goes together very well to create um, this design. Um, the focal point of a room should be supported by the rest of the room, and it should somehow relate to but not dominate the room. Remember proportion and scale and balance when choosing a focal point. So we're looking here in this space and I think it's really kind of hard to pick what the focal point in the room is. Is there, there seems to be like this really large disconnect between this side of the room and this side of the room over here. And I think that the focal point of this room should really be these beautiful doors here um, and this beautiful uh, window at the top. Um, because it's a sunroom. And to me, there's just like nothing that ties it together. I think that we need to have a rug here in the center of the room to, to complete this look. And there's so many patterns of blue and white going on with the different pieces of furniture here. Um, it just feels really eclectic and not uh, complete for my point of view. Um, here are some examples of emphasis rooms that I think are more effective. Um, so here we're looking at this very modern design, but I would say that the window here is definitely the point of emphasis. Even though we've got this very large lantern light here, I think it does complement because there's a whole lot of white in the room and the lantern light seems to like fade off into the background. And But we do have some like funky fun pieces in this space, like this striped couch and this um, circular rug. So you have a lot of variety with the stripes and the circles. Um, I think that these two coffee tables are pretty clever because you could move them throughout the space. And then you've got this really comfortable chair over here in the corner. And I just think even though it's an asymmetrically designed space, it does still really make the windows the focal point of the room. And it really draws your eye to them. And um, I think it's pretty effective. And then looking at this design over here to the right, um, I would say the point of emphasis is this fireplace with this beautiful key cutout window here. Um, and then that kind of continues into the vaulted ceiling. Um, even though these are very strong architectural features, I don't feel like they're competing with each other for the top spot in the room. I really think that this window really shines, even though we've got a fireplace below it and these architectural beams here, I feel like they help um, complete the space. And then you're repeating, you know, this brown feeling with the white walls continuing through with this um, wicker um, couch and then this kind of cool architectural featured chair with the leather in the middle of it and these two very comfortable white chairs. And we see an example of asymmetrical balance here 
um, with a point of emphasis being this window uh, fireplace unit. Um, and even though the elements in the room are strong, they don't pull away from the focal point in the room. So some ways to create emphasis is to, when you arrange your furniture, to arrange it around some type of a focal point, to use a uh, line and color and texture and pattern to kind of bring us into that focal point of the room, and then have the placements of accessories or grouping also help with that and the use of lighting. So here I've given you a room that I think is very oddly designed. Um, we have a TV that's cut out underneath a cabinet here. Um, you have this kind of like knife shaped mantle, um, a very beautiful fireplace, but it doesn't look like completed in any way. And the wall fixtures of it just like wash the fireplace out. The fireplace should be the central point in the room. And if you were going to have a TV like this here, it's really weird to have um, this picture down below. Um, and I, I honestly think that this TV being here is such an eyesore. Um, there, there has to be a better placement for that. Um, it also seemed to me like the lighting fixture is up above here and you have some natural light that's coming through, but this wall panel here in the door just like totally cuts out any natural light that you would have from the doorway. And it just looks very disjointed. There seems to be no color story here. Um, and, and there's not a use of line and not a use of color, not a use of pattern to create what should be the emphasis point of the room, which is this fire. And then um, what I would like you to do is um, to think on your own. Uh, there's a living room that contains a burgundy sofa, two beige armchairs, a dark brown carpet, beige walls, and a brown side table. How could you create a focal point in this room and why? And then I would like you to write a... Um, two to three sentence reflection on that idea and think about uh, balance and proportion and scale when you're talking about this particular living room. So I'll give you uh, some time here to do that. So you're going to write two to three sentences for that question. And then the other part of your assignment is I want you to find an example of a focal point from a magazine or an online source. Um, I really like the website Hows, H-O-U-Z-Z, -Z, when you're looking for pictures, but you can use any picture that you find on the internet. And then I would like you to write a short paragraph between three to four to five sentences that explains the focal point in the room and why it is effect effective or why it is ineffective. So you have two assignments here. The first one is to um, respond to the question that I asked on the previous slide, and this one to find a picture of a focal point in a space and describe to me whether or not you think it is effective or ineffective. And these two assignments um, will come together and be due into the emphasis folder inside Google Classroom on Friday. If you have any questions, feel free to call me um, uh, at my school phone number during class time, which is 620-805-5554, or to send me an email at rhilt at gckschools.com, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. You're not required to zoom in with me today just to watch this video. I hope you're having a good day at home um, and that you're able to get into all of your technology. And like I said, this is the only at home assignment that you have for the week. And when you're here at school, I would prefer that you work on our final project because you'll need access to the computers. Um, have a good day and uh, contact me if you need to.